Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. We want to welcome you to our devotional. Once again, my name is Peter. Um, I thank God for this opportunity to be able to share something with you this morning. I want to share something from the book of Mark, chapter 11, and we'll begin with verse 24. This is uh, after Jesus has gone to the temple, thrown out the traders in the temple. He walks out of the temple. He goes and he finds a fig tree that looks so good but has no fruit. Jesus curses the fig tree. And after one day, the tree is dry. And so Peter shows up and ask, to, tells Jesus, Rabbi, hey, look, the tree that you cast yesterday is totally dry from the roots. And so Jesus says, uh, he answers Peter and he said, beginning with verse 22, have faith in God, for assuredly I say to you, whoever says to this mountain, be removed, be cast into the sea, and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that those things he says will be done, he will have whatever he says. That's so beautiful. Verse 24. Therefore I say to you, whatever things you ask when you pray, Believe that you receive them, and you will have them. I, I like that. Seems so simple, right? Whatever things you ask when you pray, believe that you receive them, and you will have them. The word of God is true. Yes, it is. I believe that. You pray to God. You pray with all your heart. You pray with faith. Knowing that he hears your prayers. He hears my prayers. And because I know he hears my prayer. I am confident. That I have received what I have prayed for. Now I might not see it right there and then. But I believe that I have received what I have asked God of. And verse 25, Jesus adds on it. And he says, whenever you stand praying, if you have anything against anyone, forgive him. That your father in heaven may also forgive you of your trespasses. But if you do not forgive, neither will your Father in heaven forgive your trespasses. It is a tick for tat. But also Jesus is trying to say that unforgiveness is a hindrance to prayer. Unforgiveness hinders us from having answers to our prayer. I was talking to one of my spiritual fathers, and he was talking to me about unforgiveness corrupts the anointing. Unforgiveness limits us from ministry. Unforgiveness cripples us. And also here, very evident from what Jesus says, unforgiveness weakens your prayers. Actually, should I add, unforgiveness weakens your prayer life. Unforgiveness makes you a hypocrite. Because you and me understand very well that salvation, the entire idea of salvation the entire idea of being born again, the entire idea of reconciliation has to do with forgiveness. So forgiveness to us in our relationship to God and our relationship to man is very much tied to forgiveness. Forgiveness is mandatory for you and for me. Someone said... Unforgiveness is like drinking rat poison 
and hoping that the rat will die. You drink the poison, but your expectation is that the rat is going to die. No, you are the one dying. And it, 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 it gets worse when you are a Christian. I am a Christian. I am a pastor. And God is not answering my prayers because of unforgiveness. That shouldn't be the case. Jesus says, it is this simple. You believe it, you pray it, and you have received it by faith. And it is going to happen if you don't have issues with unforgiveness in your heart. So, child of God, I want to encourage you, do not keep unforgiveness. Do not hold anything on your heart. Release it. Let it go. Pray. And God will answer. Speak to God and you will hear him speak to you. He loves you. He loves me. And he's glorified when he answers our prayers. No one gets the glory but him. And so he desires. He, 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 his heart is that he answers your prayer. Because that gives him all the glory. And you have Something to testify about that the Lord did this and that for me. I pray that you and me will have the grace of God to put the things of unforgiveness away, the things we hold on our hearts away, so that God will answer our prayers, so that we can give him the glory, for he deserves it. God bless you today, and I will see you again soon. Amen.